For more update, please subscribe Gossip America News YouTube channel and press the bell button. Is former RHOA star Kim Zolciak Bierman defrauding her followers? She has long been selling them goods from her closet that she either claims to use or that are either brand new or barely used. But is there something wrong with what she is trying to sell to her fans? In addition, what is it? To learn more, keep reading. Kim Zolciak Bierman has been in urgent need of money for a while. She and her spouse Croy Bierman owe the IRS more than $1 million. Additionally, they have been the target of more lawsuits, thus making money is essential. The over 10-year-old couple filed for divorce back in May. It became aggressive and very nasty, but Kim was still working as hard as she could to make money. She resumed advertising an MLM that she allegedly utilized. She also increased the Bierman's closet. There, fans could buy brand new or gently used goods from each member of the Bravo family. Now, the mother of six is back with her husband, but she is still hustling for cash. Kim Zolchek Bierman took to her Instagram stories to share a bevy of name brand purses and shoes she was selling for thousands of dollars. However, fans took to Reddit to share that these may be dupe products, thus, Kim is not actually selling real merch. They showed a channel bag with the caption, Oh, Kimberly. A follower immediately chimed in, she and her daughters are notorious for wearing stuff from Dgate, so anyone who buys them is probably getting scammed. Dgate is a company out of China where many of the items tend to be counterfeit. So to try to pawn them off as legit items for thousands seems absurd. Furthermore, Kim was asking people to send the money to her daughter, real Biermin Zell or Cash App. Though there were a lot of items, fans continued to chime in. I am not an expert, but both channels look super fake. Another added, thank you. Cause that bag and those LV boots look real sus. Redditors had more issues with the products Kim Zolchik Bierman was selling than only the fact that they were bogus. Everything appears to be filthy and nasty. Even the coffin nails have a ton of bacteria growing below them, someone pointed out. On a Lewis Wooten item, some people noted that the stitching was uneven. It appears that individuals looking at the products had a keen eye and realized that Kim was attempting to con them. They had absolutely no interest in it. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our Gossip America News YouTube channel for more update news.